technology and the genius to start from scratch and ask what makes our survival club tick. Pretty soon they had a tractor and a machine to make bricks. Now they all in a place and they bet. Be a quick one um, taking off from the last video I did for free card for dummies where I demonstrated um, how I created this file um, using the draft workbench and using um, the the string object. Let me go to draft workbench to show you what I mean. So I use I use the multiple point draft wire. And I also use the string, um, the text string shapes to create, to write this as text. And then I, I, um, I converted them using the draft to sketch to make them into sketch objects, which I then padded up in the part design workbench. So that was the process that got me here. Um, the only thing that has changed is that I've adjusted the colors which you can do um, by selecting your object it came in default gray initially if if you saw that previous video this um, this came in default gray but you can select your you can select the object select the pad not the sketch select the pad and you come to shape color I'll, I'll shift this just a bit so you can see you come to shape shape color and you click click on that let me click again click on that and then you can select whatever color you want here you can, you can change the color as you please to um, whatever your preference is you could try this for example and if I click out you see that I've changed the color successfully I'll undo that oops redo oh no oh no Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I messed that up, sorry. Um okay, nothing to it. I have to go back, change the color. I really want, didn't want to have to do it again, but anyway, here it goes. Change the color, click out, pick the next one, change the color. Um, I'm keeping it close to the free card colors, but I'm making it slightly um, more energetic as well. Well, in my own opinion. So that's how you change the colors. Um, the next thing, the next thing I wanted to do with this, I mean, what's the point of having a logo in free card if you can't export it for use in whatever form you want? Now I found out that in FreeCAD you can go to the you can go to Tools, Save Picture, and you can select whether you want it as a JPEG or PNG or whatever it is that you want. So let's assume we want a PNG and let's say we call this trial one, and um, it's going to save in the Documents folder. It's going to save in the documents folder. We say trial one and we save. Um, if we then go to the documents folder, okay, come on, yeah, um, we've got trial one there and it is not going to open um, because FreeCAD has just not has just not done the right thing. Um, yeah, it's just not going to open out of the box, at least with the version of FreeCAD I'm using, which is version 0 0.16. So I did a little bit of research about that and found that um, the way th there's a way to get around that. I'll just scroll through. Um, to be able to read the full thing, just go to FreeCAD, forum.freecadwebs, um, just copy this URL here. Or I'll zoom in, try to zoom in a bit. Okay, it's not zooming in. Uh, maybe I can put it in the comments for the video. But if you go to this URL, you can read the full text. But this is what you're advised to do. Open the parameter editor and go to preferences, document, uh, create a boolean, disable p buffers and set it to true. Let me copy that so we can use it. Copy, then try. So if we go to 
free card again um, so remember it said tools actually it didn't tell us where that was but somebody else did um, later on in that post I'm going back to the post just so you see later on in that post somebody else said that um, you click edit parameters um, so we'll go to free card and we'll do that now so you go to tools edit parameters and you I'll delete that just so you see me do it again you right click and you um, create new boolean item and you put in the name disable p buffers click ok and click true and yeah you set it to true save to disk close and once you've done that you can go back to tools save picture and let's call this um, trial 3 we'll call this trial 3 so we we'll create a new file and let's go to extended just so you see um, okay we don't need to do that just yet but let's just save and now if we go to the, if we go to oops I forgot, yeah if we go to documents and you go to trial 3 that's it so it, it saved the new file for us this time around which is um, awesome um, I'll show you quickly how you can change the background color so if you go to go back to FreeCAD uh, tools save picture and this time around let's say that's trial 3a and extended and we can change the background color to white so that's image properties background we change it to white and you say save if you go to your folder where you're saving your stuff um, you'll find that you have a white background it's got a grid it's got the grid on it um, which you could disable if you didn't want the grid um, but for, for this purpose uh, um, you, you can you can figure out to disable the grid yourself um, yeah so you could change the background to black or change it to white unfortunately FreeCAD does not allow you to um, yeah back to FreeCAD back to FreeCAD FreeCAD does not allow you to set a transparent background which would have which clearly would have been very useful in this instance it gives you just the option for white or black um, I've spent some time researching that and I found out that in FreeCAD version 0.17 which I've opened here you do have that option to save to a transparent background um, but it's not working straight out of the box right now I've tried it a few times it's not working in version 0.17 um, so that's one problem you you have this little little nuances about Frica that you're never gonna find out until you, you run into trouble so uh, it's very annoying to try to do something very basic and for almost every step there's something crazy that you need to figure out and you might spend like hours researching online to find out how to do it that is very very annoying with Frica but hey this is Frica for dummies so we're trying to find a way to stop being dummies um, so as far as my research has gone so far I've not found a way to do transparent backgrounds with FreeCAD version 0 0.16 um, if I go to the URLs you will see um, you see that there are examples where people um, suggested all sorts of code and stuff like that which I mean why would I have to go through you know plugging in lines of code just because I want something as simple and basic as a transparent background uh, well I guess that's one of the challenges we use in open source software but um, it is frustrating so this hope this video helps you to at least know that you're not alone in going through this kind of crisis so thanks for watching um, just to recap we've looked at how to change the colors um, the color properties for your shapes um, you can change the shape color just by clicking here remember that 
shape color under under the um, property for the for the object selected. Um, that will work with the pad itself, not with the sketch. Same thing here, shape color, you can change it. And we also looked at how to um, save the image, save an image of what's on your screen using tools, save picture, and um, yeah, so you can save that as a JPEG or PNG or BMP. And you could, and also one thing to note is that it, it might not work immediately out of the box, especially with version 0.16. Um, apparently, even with 0.17, I had to set the disable P buffers boolean. I had to create it and set it to true before I could save um, images. And um, yeah, also just to remember that link um, which I showed. If I can just get back to it now. Yeah, that's this one. So remember this link so that you can read through how it's done. and. Other options that you have if that first one doesn't work you can also set another boolean to get it to work so um, that's it for this edition of free card for dummies um, we'll have a couple of other editions coming up one of which will also involve rendering what's on your scene um, doing a proper rendering uh, we, we're going to be working with Lux render which um, is my preference over Povery so FreeCAD, from what I've learned, allows you to render with Povray or Lux Render. Both of them are open source rendering packages. So we're going to be trying our hands with Lux Render pretty soon. So do look out for that.